We're in Williamson, West Virginia. Pretty sky. It feels warmer than 53 today, don't you think? Yeah. Yes. Leaves are changing. <coughs> Spruce Creek Campground. And hopefully we'll be the only people. I don't think that happens anywhere anymore. <laughs> and I see people. Boo! So we got a pretty big campsite. It's kind of chilly. It's about 53. You can smell campfire in the air. Our dog's not real excited, I don't think. We just got him in the cage till we get settled. Still got to have coffee. Oh. It's actually so cold out here. Look at that. Like a jungle. So pretty the creek. This is a uh, Cabway Lingo State Park. Heather and I are tent camping in 37 degrees <laughs> at Spruce Creek uh, Campground. You know, we're cheating a little bit. We got power and we've got a heater and uh, we've got a Keurig machine. <laughs> and hang on, hang on, now. we've got a inflatable queen size air bed yeah you just plug it up hit a button and it automatically you know perfect fills you know blah 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 we've got um two boxes of duraflame logs that we brought um i say this is glamping heather says it is definitely not glamping so you know you guys you weigh in on that one is this glamping or is it not <laughs> anyhow look at that just deep 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 West Virginia woods. The thickest stuff you can imagine. Now that's a Cowboy Lingo trail system. I don't know if y'all noticed that trail going up. That's, uh, I believe it was trail five on the Cowboy Lingo uh, trail system. Now there were just some, we just saw some really beautiful Jeeps going up just a second ago. Really nice ones, all decked out. But uh, I'll show you around a little bit. <clears throat> just show you the campground there's two of them here uh well there's that i know of there's this one and the one at tick ridge um it's up on a hill you drive way out on a little gravel road to get out to it and i believe it's all primitive you know we've got water here we've got power you know keurig machine there's heather wave heather <laughs> She's hanging out by the fire, her and Barkley. <laughs> There's our tent. We got a heater in there. A little fan forced. It was nice and 37 degrees last night. Just snuggly warm. Nice as can be. Junk pile. Now this, check this out. I noticed this this morning. As soon as the sun came up. Now, I don't know how well you can see that. 
there's two leaves. I don't want to get too close and you got to tiptoe. Try zooming. You see them now? That is a yellow jacket nest. One good stomp right now is all it would take. One loud, you could probably yell and they would come out of there and go crazy. <laughs> Don't stomp. <laughs> Back away. <laughs> There's the creek bed going down. Trail over there, heading up the hill. Look at that. A little valley. We've got the whole end all to ourselves. Well, we got some neighbors down here. They're heading out today, too. Did y'all have fun? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Look how pretty this is, though. They've done some work over here recently. That's new. Obviously. That was the old one. And they've got the bathhouses, bathrooms are there. And the campgrounds, this one's Spruce Creek, like I said, there's, um, uh, let's see, there's about three or four there. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like about twelve campsites here. Uh, that goes down that way, just loops, comes back out. Those are a little bit on the small side. You know, the campsites, they're long, you know, for RVs or whatever, but they're not very big. Those, you've just got that whole, and especially the one in the back where we're at, you've just got the whole valley. You know, it's, it's all yours, all the way back through the woods. Funny firewood, all that good stuff. Check this out, how pretty is this? Beautiful play. It is Trail 5. I was right. Cabway Lingo Trail System. Look at that. Love living in West Virginia. I love my state. If you love the outdoors, this place is paradise. But, uh, Cabway Lingo Trail System. Uh, it got its name because of a convergence of the four counties. Um, there were, you know, lingering animosities after the Civil War. And so you had Cabell County, Wayne County, uh, Mingo County, hang on, and uh, Logan County. Cabway, <laughs> Cabell, Wayne, uh, yeah, Logan and Mingo, right. And uh, this, the trail system, this, the forest here, the Cabway Lingo Forest, you know, you can see, you know, really super, super dense, super steep, you know, woods. Uh, it covered four counties. And the thinking was that it would, you know, kind of help to, you know, reunite the two counties. But uh, this right here is a shared trail, by the way. You now, meaning you can take cars, Jeeps. Well, you be careful about cars, but you know what I mean. You, you can do it. Uh, I saw a couple going up last night. Uh, some little boxy looking car you know like an suv looking thing and went right on up through there and i've seen you know a couple of jeeps and there were several you know vehicles going up last night you know pickup trucks and stuff like that not a whole lot but uh, six seven something like that and then two couple really nice jeeps went up a little while ago but uh anyhow you get it you can hike up there there's a there's a cemetery up there as well uh we haven't went up to to look for it yet but uh we didn't bring the didn't bring the, the UTVs in the shop, and I didn't bring the ATV. It was a, just a camping trip, you know. Just the wife and I out playing. <laughs> we do this for fun, too. <laughs> but uh, I just thought I'd show you guys this. Like I said, there's the bathhouse. There's the entrance to the Spruce Creek Campground right down there. But there's little picnic shelters and stuff like that and water. But it's really pretty, 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 pretty place beautiful as pretty as it looks in the camera I'm sure it does not do this place justice
And did I mention it was 37 degrees last night? <laughs> like usual, we're looking for the cemetery. There's supposed to be three of them. We can't find any of them so far. Look at them trees, though. Wow. Well, we went on a wild goose chase with the cemetery. This is our campground. We're back. It's supposed to be about 34 tonight, something like that. But we got heat, sort of. Brought a heater. Apparently my dog's a diva because he just wants to lay in the cage on a cheetah blanket. He's not feeling anything else. I'm glad I brought that cage. He definitely doesn't like sitting out here in these cold... He definitely don't want to sit out here in these cold rocks. It's the only place I see him like comfortable. Isn't you know, right, Barky? <laughs> we got a heated tent to go to later. Later bad when your dog is a glamper. You think we'll see Bigfoot tonight? Hopefully. <laughs> so this is how dark it is. And walk into my campground. The full moon. Hang on, let me get the light on him. <laughs> he is not an outdoor dog. You barky bear. Mm. Barkley. I like them up. <laughs> These are cookies and cream marshmallows. They're really good. They got like cookies inside. They melt. We're going to make s'mores. Pokey sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, cookie dough marshmallow. <laughs> Bad idea for fireplace <laughs> grilling, by the way. Yeah, I think I just like the regular marshmallows. Those are kind of <laughs> weird. Do these hot dogs look really weird? What is going on with that? Is that Dur from the Duraflame log? Duraflame, yeah. Ew. Ruined them. Hell no. Mm -hmm. This is in the tent. Mm. So how was your first night? Fun. Cold? Mm, nah. A little bit. It's pretty comfortable in there. So you still call it glamping if we were yeah, cold? We've got to make a video about this, about whether this is glamping or not. Matter of fact, I say we go with this one. We've got... Okay, we got a Keurig machine. We have a bed. Yeah, we have a bed that you just plug up and push a button and it inflates into a full size bed. Not an air mattress now, full size bed. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got two boxes of uh, Duraflame logs. To, you know, you don't got And regular logs. Too. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not glamping. We got an electric heater and he thinks that's glamping just because we didn't want to freeze to death. 
<laughs> That's not glamping though. Who, who's with me? It's is that glamping or is it not? Glamping or not? <laughs> it's like somewhere in between. Because glamping is glamorous camping. I don't think this is glamorous. We have a Keurig machine. Well, I'm an American. What do you want? No, <laughs> oh, it's over with. We need an RV. <clears throat> Huh? You want your pee back? Left over here? No, we can leave the pee. So I got this little thing at the gift shop. I love it. I have my coffee in it right now. It's a cup, by the way, not fireworks or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a cup. It's supposed to be a coffee cup, but I have my doubts about that. I think it's more like a just a cup. I doubt it's insulated, but we'll see. We'll see. Come on. Check out the cabins. <laughs> They're actually original cabins of uh, the engineers lived in them, right? Yeah, yeah, these are supposedly a hundred or better. The cabins are back off the road too, but I kind of wanted to stay in the cabin, but kind of was wanting to try out the yeah. semi glamping. Maybe next time we'll do real glamping, TV <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Huh. Trail 6 comes right into here. Look at that. That's Trail 6, which is really cool because you can get a cabin right here. Yeah, and it comes right into your cabin. We need to come back and do that. We will. We will. So these cabins are so cute. How, some of them are pet friendly. And some of them are more deluxe, but... I mean, how cool are they? Look how pretty. That's the one we stayed in. Number four. Number four. I think 1 to 13 is the pet friendly ones, if I remember correctly. But they're different sizes, but they're all the same like yeah. price. Some of them is one bedroom and some uh, uh -huh. some four right. or two bedrooms. You need to pick one out. You need to get that's one on the end. I kind of like six, yeah. Yeah, six. Park your stuff in this little cubby hole. The fisherman cabin. Fleshman. That sounds creepy. <laughs> Fleshman cabin. Zombies or something. Oh, we got modern heat there. Yeah. Look how pretty that is. I don't want to hurt. I'm not. Yeah, we got to come back and do six. Maybe winter. We need another ATV though. Leo, trail guide, you, you got to stop by the trail system, check it out a little bit at least. We didn't bring the the, the UTVs in the shop. We didn't bring the ATV because you know Heather's with me. But look at this. Check out these cabins. Now these are the old legacy cabins over here. Uh, workers actually cut these right out of the mountains and built these. You know back in the day. How beautiful they are. I came over. There's a, a big two bedroom one. Right over there, I brought mom a few about six years ago. We stayed over there a few days. I'm glad I did now. You know, kind of makes me happy every time I think about this place. But this one right here, this is new. Now, when I stayed over here, there was a little walkway. You know, you could little path. You could walk down the side of the you know the creek bank. It goes down through that way. So cabin 13 is over there. It's supposedly haunted. It's a cool one up on a hill. Uh, <laughs> But uh, this here, they, they've added, you know, since they added the Cowboy Lingo Trail System, Trail 6 comes right into here, you know, where the cabins are. Where we were staying at, uh, at Spruce Creek at the campground, uh, we tent camping, you know, 36 degrees last night, by the way, or 38 degrees last night, sorry, don't want to lie. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we were staying at Spruce Creek, and Trail 5 comes directly into the campground there. So, you know, if y'all over this way, man, this place is really cool. There's a lot of old stone works and stuff that these guys built, you know, when they built these cabins. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit of that stuff, too. Uh, you know, put something together, kind of give you a little idea of what the place looks like, that sort of thing. But, I mean, it is beautiful here. I don't know what yeah. it is, but something smells so good here.
Look at the leaves falling. Gotta love fall here. Ah, check this spot out. This is just a little wide spot. There's a little picnic area across the road there. Uh, you go on down, there's another one right there, a little playground and stuff. I want to show y'all back in here. Now, this stuff is really old, obviously. But just look at some of this stuff, and it goes way back into the woods. They brought these guys in here. I remember right, it's been a couple years. Well, it's been about six years. Uh, we came over, stayed in, you know, the cabin, like I said, with mom. And, uh, you know, talked to, you know, some of the employees and stuff that work here. And got a little bit of history, but to tell you the truth, I don't really remember that much about it. Uh, I know that uh, they brought in a bunch of people. And they cut this stuff directly out of the mountains, out of the woods, to build all of this stuff. And they lived here as they went. And that's what the cabins are. Uh, hang on, out of breath a little bit. But just look at this. Now, this, obviously this wasn't a house or a cabin or anything like that. It's just a wood bin on that side. Wood bin on this side. Fireplace in the middle, a couple tables. And a roof. And if you see, look backwards. You can see there's the stairs. Going down, got a real Mayan temple kind of feel to it. <laughs> but check this out. I remember this too. Look at that. Uh huh. Right in the top step. Look at that. Uh huh. But like I said, this was just a little a community area basically you know it's not cover it's not you know closed enclosed or anything so in the winter you know you'd have the fireplace as the main source of heat and you know when the wall's missing but you take these paths and all these little hollers back over here are like this and hang on let me show you you go back in here and the further back you go the more of this stuff you'll run into. They're all back in through here. So look at that. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that not beautiful? Let's see. Now this one, there was another one I'm gonna show you. Just up at the nut next to a little intersection. There was some people up there, so I figured I'd let them check it out, you know, let get their family time in. But you can see right here the stonework that these guys did is mind boggling. I mean, it's just huge, huge, huge walls and structures. And I mean, just look at that, you know, just to carry stone from there to here. You know, that's a major undertaking just for this one little building. And you get back in here in this other holler. So you can see some of it. You can see some structures. I don't know if you can, how well. See if I can zoom. Dead center. Right there. Would take you up there, but the path, there used to be a path, but it's gone now. But anyway, I'll take you up the other one. I know there's a path up that one. Show, I can show you that one, show you some of these things. But anyhow, I just wanted to come up to this one, kind of give you a layout, kind of give you an idea of what we're doing. I figured since we was over here, we may as well video this stuff. I mean, my God, this is beautiful. Look at that. The camera does not do this place justice at all. It is absolutely breathtaking. Acorns and chestnuts and stuff falling. And I said at our campsite, just in one little breeze, uh, 75 chestnuts. <laughs> that was something. Acorns. You hear them and come through the leaves like little bullets. <laughs> I've been cracked in the top of the head with them before. I mean, look right there. They're just laying all over the place. They're everywhere. All over the place.
But there's the little meeting place kind of thing. Like I said, it's not really, you couldn't really use it for a habitable structure, but it would make a really great place for a bunch of people who are out working to come and have lunch. Central location, you know, I'm sure they probably had music and all kinds of stuff here too. Who knows? But you can see stonework going out through there, just in the woods. It's just all over the place, random. There's one little walkway out to the out to that little building out there. It's a bathhouse, women's, men's on the other side. But a uh, little bathroom, I should say. I don't know if it's got showers or not. But absolutely beautiful back in here. We're gonna go on down, get up with Heather, and head back over to the other one, the big one. And head back up in there and show you some of that. Look at those trees. The colors. Fall in West Virginia is just beautiful. This is about, I'm gonna say 75 yards. It was right down there is where that little place is I just showed you. Right across the street, you can see they've got a little, you know, a little picnic area, that kind of thing, a big sheltered playground. Uh, the superintendent, his office, it was a real pretty old built, old house. Stone, beautiful place, beautiful old house. Uh, it's right, right there. And the forest, uh, Cowboy Lingo State Forest, their office is right there, dead center. And the superintendent's office is right there behind those trees. But uh, like I said, right there is where we were. But now this, you'll see if you come up here, you see the swing sets and, you know, the little bridge going back up in through there. Trust me, get out here. Check this out. Now this goes way back in here. And I guarantee you this spot has a lot of history. You know, you had all these people living here and doing all this work. You know, they're clearing forests and timber and all this kind of stuff. And having, you know, forest fire issues and all kinds of stuff. You know, you're living out in the woods, literally. You know, you're having to carve everything, you know, all of your structures. There's no town. It's just woods. You have to carve everything you need out of the natural resources that you have. Look at those stairs. Let me zoom in. Look at that. Stone, wood, beautiful. But there's the swing sets and stuff. And there's a trail here. You can go across this little bridge up there and then there's a trail that goes out that way it's pretty cool too but this is what's interesting i mean look at this stuff tell me that doesn't look like mayan ruins or something <laughs> i think this one if i remember right was a water fountain look at that <laughs> cut through there and see all kinds of structures look at this these stone stairs just little tiny rocks little bitty rocks set in some little bit of concrete they've been there for a hundred years little shed for whatever I'm sure probably firewood but you know presumably whatever but I say fire wood because there's a fire pit right there. <laughs> Look at this. Just uh, sitting out in the open. Now, this isn't part of a house or something. You know, this is the way it was built. It was built this way. You know, you build your little fire right there. 
cook on that. All the smoke goes up out the chimney. Check this one out. Now, I'm not sure what this one was. It's just some steps and a square platform. Look like may have been some handrails across here, possibly seating. You know, had some chairs or benches or something there, maybe. Anyway, look at this. There's some serious woods, too. But here's where we're coming up on some of the structures. Some of the old stonework structures. Now, this is all done by hand now. There was no, you know, they didn't have no skid loaders, <laughs> skid steers and stuff like that. <laughs> They're doing all of this by hand. And just look, look at the size of that one stone. Hmm. Two cinder blocks, two good cinder blocks easily. And it ain't hollow either. As you go back in here, you'll see these all over the place. Look at that intricate stairs. Detail. Tell me these guys didn't know what they were doing. And these things have stood here for, like I said, a hundred years now. Look at that. Breathtaking. <laughs> I can hear some people way back in there. There's actually us. We're tent camping. There's one camper camping and one group staying in a cabin. That's the only people we saw here this whole place. Got all, <laughs> almost got it all to ourselves. But wait till you see the detail. Look at this. Now how bad is that? That is wicked nice, isn't it? Look at that detail. Big logs, great big ones. Look at that. Give you an idea. <laughs> Little reference there. Look at that. How nice is that? Minus the graffiti, of course. Look at that. And it goes on back, too. There's more of them. I can see more back in there. We'll head up that way in a second. Look at this. You can see all the way down through there. You know, you can just imagine. You know, a bunch of workers up here. You know, it's lunchtime, that kind of thing. Hundred years ago. What's for dinner? Well, we got some squirrel. We got some groundhog. Uh, <laughs> some wild turkey. <laughs> no, not that kind of. The gobble goes gobble in the woods kind of wild turkey. <laughs> stone walls holding up the paths there's paths going all the way back through here and as you can see you get over here we can look down at it you can see there's a stone wall that they've built all the way from there comes all the way up through here turns with the hillside and the, just follows the path it makes a nice little even level path up through here up next to the creek bank it's the creeks down in there but it's pretty up here when it rains too beautiful day around I'm gonna say 70 right now real nice day for a walk that I'm not sure what that's supposed to have been but you can see the path you get the sun out of the off the lens, you can see the path goes on up, and another path goes out this way. Look at this. Look at the front of that thing. Just this one little thing right here. Oh my God! Imagine what this weighs. Now imagine carrying it from way down there. <laughs> There's the other campers. Hey guys, how y'all doing? <laughs> Only three people in the whole place. We keep running into each other. <laughs> 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 
Yes, it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that one. It's another one of the little cookout, little fireplaces. They were up here working. That's shadows. Look at that. Really, really, really old picnic table. Look at that bad boy. He's been here a while. Weeds growing up on it. You can see the stonework goes on around the hill there. More structures as you go. They're all over the place. Let me get up there and go around that path. Looks a little bit more level than going down through the valley and then climb up the other side. Let's get back up on the stone path. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera around. Look at that one. And you can reserve this one, apparently. So I hear. <laughs> Look at the detail. Look at that. Look how all those stones were cut. Is that not insane? Look here, underneath, now this is a picnic table. Let me get back here where I can actually show you what's going on here. It's just a large area with a stone wall all the way around it, stone floor, real fancy, you know. You can see how fancy this, the masonry work is. But look here, under the picnic table, CCC and a big pine tree right into the floor. And I think it was um, Civilian Conservation. I'm, don't quote me on that. I, I, like I said, it's been several years. Um, you know, they were telling me about it, the people that worked here, you know, when I stayed here before. You know, I went and tracked a couple people down and asked some questions. <laughs> but that is insanely cool, isn't it? Look at the detail they put into this place. Still standing after all these years. Way back in the woods. Look at that. This is one side. Cabway Lingo Forest. Just super, super dense West Virginia woods all the way around. Way back here in the middle of nowhere. There's that gas well. That's probably a little bit more recent, I'm thinking. <laughs> That you can see there's more going on over there. There's paths going that way. There's a stone path going out here. One goes out that way. One goes on up that way. There's one going up through there. They're all over the place back in here. Let's look at this. If you like hiking, this is like hiking nirvana. <laughs> Let's look at that. Still got stones laying out all the paths so nothing washes out. And you can see the creek down below. A little stream down in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this one. There's another one, an old one. That one I just showed you is down there. <clears throat> Had the CCC carved in it. Here. This one's just a flat area with a picnic table. Simple as that. Now you can tell how long it's been sitting here. That tree has grown, lived its entire life, died, and rotted. Since this was put here. Look at that. The whole thing's completely gone. 
new one's grown up in its place where it fell with not even remnants of it on the ground nothing on the ground Never knew it was never knew it was there other than that stump. But look at this table. How long has this thing been here, you figure? <laughs> Moving on. Good work. Good job of those stones. Positioned everything really well to hold the path. And you can see it going back through the woods. You can see the path. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but in person, it's the plain as day. Goes right up, right around here. Just look at this. All the way around. Hang on. I'll show you. Steep, steep, steep West Virginia mountains. Both sides. We go up just a little bit more. You can see here where two trails tie together. I'll turn around. You can see how the stonework goes on out through there. But here, you can see the one I just came up. Goes down there and out that way. There's another one right there. Goes back out that way and drops over that little ridge. We're going this way. We're going deeper. The size of that one. That thing is massive. Unbelievable. Six feet. Cross at the bottom, and uh, 200, or yeah, 200 feet tall, give or take. A big one. little clearing there's more though there's still a stone path we go around a down tree and a little one Keeps going too. Remnants of something here. Some sort of something. Really big rocks and nothing else. A great big pine tree. See them right there? It's broken. And you can see it on the ground. This up here is 60 feet from the base of the tree plus. Another 40, so 100 foot. 100 foot up, this thing's still two feet thick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think some of this may be natural. Some of it looks like pretty odd shapes for natural rock. But I'm thinking we may have hewn these for something. And, you know, maybe even use some of them down there. I'm not sure. But we didn't do them all. Whatever it was, we left some of it. You can see where they've been cutting on that. You can see tool marks on it. Okay, I think we're about to end up where we can get. The big pine tree has pretty much got us blocked off from here. Let's take a look. 
see what we can see just from this point see if we can see more structures oh get through the tree yep there's more path there's definitely more path Come back up here you can see the path goes right through there but you ain't <laughs> There's another one there. Let me take that one on the way back out. Very beautiful. That's about the end of the paths. I mean, there's more game trails heading on out through there. I believe that may be all of the structures. So this is a cemetery in Kermit, West Virginia, nestled in the mountains, off the beaten trail. So this has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Can't see. Maddie Lawrence, that's my mom's last name. Lawrence. Germany, Hungary. That's where my mom's from. That's just like caskets stacked on each other. That's crazy. Venturinos.
It still has like old flowers on the middle one. <laughs> Ooh, all down there is like dead flowers. Please don't let me drop this. <laughs> I'd never get it back. So, what do you think of our trip? I think it was fun. I think mm. we had a lot of fun. It was fun. We mm -hmm. did very good on the way. I think Of course of I did. In the team that you did of course! <laughs> well, anyways, thank you for watching and subscribe and like if you haven't. We'll continue to bring you adventures. Semi-interesting adventures. They're interesting. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.